Stop by the warehouse. We have a, uh, a small shipment going out tomorrow. So just wanted to stop by and see how the guys were doing. Uh, with this shipment, this these items are primarily items that we're going to be using f for our like shipping and packaging purposes. So we bought a bunch of like boxes. And uh, what they're doing right now is putting them on a pallet and then stretch wrapping it. So when this gets to the US, we could just take it off the truck using my uh, forklift. So they're calculating CBM space now. We have a, a 20 foot container coming and they want to make sure that they can fit all our stuff in the container. And they're trying to maximize every inch in that container. So these guys are putting as, as many boxes as they can on each of the pallets. And I think the 20 foot container only fits 10 pallets, I think. Yeah, we use a bunch of these cardboard boxes and after doing the math, it's much more cost efficient to have it shipped from China versus us buying them from places like Uline. These are all our boxes. We have some poly mailers, bubble mailers, all the stuff that we use on a regular basis. Poly bags, everything that's like shipping supply related. So there's two workers here, two laborers and one supervisor and to palletize everything. I think it might take around two to three hours, give or take. And we have someone here putting together the packing list so we know exactly what's being shipped and how many units of what is being shipped in the container. You'll need that information for custom clearance. So I got back from China a few weeks ago and before I left, I had uh, ordered a container load of some shipping supplies. And guess what guys? It just showed up today. So these are the tools that I'm working with today. Got my trusty electric forklift. Got my pallet stackers back there. Two pallet jacks. And here he comes. It's a little tricky to navigate here because we got know people parked in certain spots but luckily this morning our par parking lot is uh, fairly empty I imagine it probably take about an hour hour and a half to unload this there you go let's hope it's not empty okay So I gotta climb up here and take out some of the, the the loose some of the loose items so I can get this skid out. Oh man. Nope, nope. And now I gotta go in there and unload these by hand until we can get to the other skid. So we got the first row out, but the issue is getting out the pallets. Oh, there's a Chinese beetle. There's a Chinese beetle. There's a, we can't get the, the second row on. So we gotta get this pallet jack up there. Will this bite? So the trick is, get the skids underneath the pallet, pallet jack, and then lower it. There you go. All right, so then I'm gonna bring this up, tilt it towards me a little bit, so I don't drop it. 
Hold on, let me back out now. Don't have much room in here, but you're gonna have to move, maneuver around to get underneath the skid to pull it out. I wish I had like skid extenders. That would probably help in this type of situation. Luckily, it's a four-way skid, so I might be able to just pull it out. Turn, 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 turn. You got like four inches. still recording. So now we got that out of the way. A lot of room to maneuver now. And uh, what time did we start? 8.50? It's 9.22, it's been a half an hour. So I think uh, the rest of the way is gonna be much quicker. Are you going to go Five pallets left. We're almost done. Okay, so we got two pallets left. We are done emptying this container. Just want to show you guys the, the view from the inside of the container. It's a view that not most get to see, so let's just go inside and see how it looks. Oh, almost fell going in, all right. It's supposedly uh, waterproof and water sealed, so you know this thing does go in the ocean. And water's not supposed to get in, which means Terrible ventilation. So in the summertime, unloading this thing, it's a nightmare. It's 9.42. It took us about 50 minutes to empty this 20-foot container. Let's get out of here. Sign for the driver and call it a day. Now we have all this to organize, probably take a few hours to do that before we can bring it in. Just wanted to show you guys what it's like to uh, empty a 20 foot container. If you have the right tools and the right equipment and the experience, it's a breeze. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time.